Okay, boys, in this video, we're going to be looking at finding the percentage of a number. So we often get questions like this one up here, where we want to actually find what the percentage is. So we're sort of doing the opposite to what we have been doing. So I'm just going to give you this question here. It says, 21 out of 25 students answered this question in this test correctly. Now, how would we find the percentage of students that actually answered this correctly? We're going to use two methods here again. Okay, I'm going to get you to write them down. So method one, in this way, okay, is just using a basic fraction. So again, like our previous videos, if we could set this up as a fraction, so we have here 21 out of 25 students. Now I know with my decimal, well, sorry, my fractions, but I know that a percentage is out of 100. So is there a way that I can transfer this denominator here to 100, which would make it easier for me to work out a percentage? And using uh, 25, I know that I can. So if I times 25 by 4, I know that that will equal 100, which will make it easy for my percentage calculator or conversion. So all I need to do is times 21 by 4. Okay, and that would equal 84. So easily I can just transfer this into a percentage. So I know that 84 over 100 means 84%. Okay, so that's method one. It's only using the basic fraction. Now remember, you can only do that when the denominator is e easily able to convert it into 100. Now that's not always the case. You know, if, not, if it's not the case, then you need to apply method two. Okay, so method two is using just simply division. Now, when I set it up like this, I have 21 over 25. I'll write it again here. 21 over 25. Remember that this symbol in the middle here basically means division or divide. So I have 21 divided by 25. So the way that I would set this out, and make sure you follow this process because we often get that wrong. If I wanted to turn this into a percentage, I would I want to multiply 21 by 25. Now the denominator goes outside the long division. So I have 25 divided by 21. Now I add a decimal place and a zero because I know the denominator is bigger. So it's going to work after work from there. Now from here, all I do is my simple division, long division. Does 25 go into 2? It goes in 0 times. 25 into 21, 0 times. How many times does 25 go into 210? Okay, so I know that 25 goes into 200 um, 4 times. Sorry, 8 times, sorry, because um, to equal 200. So 8 times, which makes 200. That leaves 10 left over. I'll bring the 0 down here. How many times does 25 go into 4? Uh, 100, sorry, it goes four times, which makes 84. So if I bring this up here, <coughs> I have 0.84. Now I know if I want to turn that into a percentage, I multiply that by 100. The decimal place moves two spots to the right, which gives me 84%. So you're going to need to trial over both, in both methods as we go through this unit. You can either break the fraction down into a basic fraction. Remember only if it, the denominator is able to be easily converted to 100. If not, then you just need to do the uh, division process that we did just shown you. So the bottom denominator goes outside the question and 21 goes on the inside. So that's how you find the percentage of a number and we'll make sure we work in this throughout class. Thanks boys.